Thank you, Anna. I don't know what to say. I take it you gave Jimmy the good news, huh? Congratulations. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'm very happy for you. There's a pawn shop around the corner. In case you'd like to buy a printing press, get business back to normal. Frisco, there, Frisco take give it. Give it up, you, huh? Please? He may have fooled everybody in this room, but he's not going to fool me. You're out of me. line. And you're making a mistake! If Robert felt that he should be released, then that is good enough for me. Look, 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 I, I, I think we're all having a little bit of trouble here, uh, getting used to the idea that Robert's gone. And I think you should realize how good his instincts were, Frisco. Yeah, well, Robert was like a brother to me. And in my opinion, this man standing this right man here is responsible here, for this death. This man standing here, according to Robert, deserved the right to take a walk. Now, if Robert was here, he'd say the same thing, and you would abide by his decision, right? I guess I'm just looking for a reason. Explaining why he died. But first thing, there is a reason. It was called mortality, man. It, he's gone. And you have no right to, you know, cloud his memory by acting as if somebody finally outsmarted him. Robert nailed every man he ever went after. Let's just leave it at that. I apologize. Catherine, I'm sorry for bringing it up. It's tough enough as it is. No hard feelings, but... All right, Commissioner. What's our next assignment here? Well, it is to do with the McAllister case. I have to release a statement to the press, and uh, I've never been very good at that. I would appreciate all your support. If you'd come with me. Anna, can you give us a Can you back up a bit, please? Can you back up a bit, please? Give me some space. I, I'm sure that the mayor promised you a statement. Now I'm temporary commissioner. But... Well, actually, the mayor had guaranteed that you would give us a statement. Then I'm sure you also remember that as chief of police, I have a very good word. But I do have a statement to issue, and that is that Commissioner Scorpio left behind ample files on the David McAllister case. And I believe that we have enough evidence to go to trial. Go to trial? Does that mean that... that, that you have... It means that we have enough evidence to indict a Tracy Quartermain in the murder of David McCaffrey. Does that mean you've closed your investigation? Yes, Oh, my God, she's closed the investigation. Don't panic. I'll talk to her. No, wait, get me out of here. Get me out of here. I think that we will be able to prove that her motives include jealousy, Revenge. It appears that McAllister took her for upwards of a million dollars, which he used to purchase negotiable bonds. We're hoping that as the trial gets nearer, we will be able to recover some of that evidence. Uh, that's really In other words, all I have. Okay, what about you? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's enough. Thank you. Robert felt that you needed a chance, and uh, he liked you. So. There's only one thing that could make me feel any happier. I just wish Robert was here to tell me that himself. As I was saying at lunch, um, the mayor is uh, organizing a public commemorative service, but you know, Frisco, Anna, and I were thinking of having uh, 
something a little more private and uh, unofficial for his close friends, so... Why don't I call the funeral home and make arrangements for the body? No, 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 it's okay. It's already been taken care of, Jimmy. One thing, though, Kim, we have to talk about is, uh, is the service itself. And, uh, well, since you're a music expert, I was thinking oh, that possibly you right, could... Right, right, right. Um, yeah, it, it has to be just perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Robert used to hate classical music when he yeah, first I know, met, but I, know. Uh, I got him to like it. Yeah, I'm sure you did. He even loved some pieces, you know. Mm. And he's really severely picky about it, though. <laughs> I just know that. But he's got a few of his favorite albums over here, and maybe he could find the ones he liked and just pick out an appropriate selection from <laughs> here. Well, I don't think you're right about that, Katie. I mean, I don't think it should be anybody's music. I mean, Robert would want you to play your own music. After all, he loved you the most. I don't know, Jimmy. I, I, I think I'd feel really funny, you know, playing my music. Hey, 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 you know, I have an idea. Why don't uh, you and I go back to my penthouse? I, I, I've got all these WSB mementos of Robert's career and... Well, it might give you a better perspective when you make your music selection. Huh? I mean, that's a great idea. I mean, you can even take notes, and then you can give it to the minister uh, so you can make a great eulogy. Hmm? Well, I don't know, Sean. I don't know if I'm ready to go through all this. Hey, 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 hey. I might just... look, no, no, uh, think about this. It might be rather comforting, hmm? I mean, I think he's right. Well, why don't you give it a try, huh? And if it's too painful, you can do it another day. No. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. You know, Robert was always wanting to tell me more stories about the WSB days. <laughs> good girl, good girl. All right, come on, now. You go through all the memorabilia. If you need any details, I'll fill you in. I've got more anecdotes about that, man. Stuff you won't believe. I think I do. <laughs> we'll see, Jimmy. Yeah, see you guys later. <laughs>